If you don't understand cyber security, your business is already vulnerable. Cyber security certifications every entrepreneur and business leaders should have. Entrepreneurs, can I shock you for a bit? In 2024, the biggest threat to your business isn't your competitors. It's not the economy. It's not your customers. It's not even that employee who doesn't put their weight. It's something you probably don't even consider a threat to your small business. It's cyber crime. And here is the truth. If you don't understand cyber security, your business is already vulnerable. And it's just a matter of time before this knowledge gap has repercussions. So let's talk about how you as an entrepreneur or business leader can arm yourself with the right knowledge and certifications to survive and thrive in our increasingly digital business space. If you want to be a serious business leader today, cybersecurity isn't an option, it's a necessity. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tolu Lopez Michael, cybersecurity expert, entrepreneur, and career coach. I've built businesses in cybersecurity, ed tech, finance, and health, and today, I want us to talk about something that's probably not on your radar. I know I made a reference to cybercrime earlier, but our focus today is something related to that. Cybersecurity certifications for business leaders. Have you even heard about that before? Well, now you have. And just in case you are wondering, Tolu, why this topic? It is simply because if you are a serious business leader, you need to understand how cyber security certifications can save your business and give you an edge over the competition. So stick with me because by the end of this video, you will not only know which certifications you need, but I will show you how exactly why they matter for business leaders like you. Now, if you can think as far back as 2013, some of you may remember the popular target bridge, right? Yeah. The one that exposed 40 million credit card numbers, right? You, you remember? Maybe not as far back as that. In 2017, there was also that Equifax breach where 147 million people's personal information was leaked. But let's bring it up to recent events. In 2023, we saw the movie's data breach where a vulnerability in file transfer software exposed the data of millions of people affecting government, agencies, healthcare, and even major corporations. Now, fast forward to this year, the Microsoft Cloud breach that made headlines after Chinese hackers compromised uh, US government emails, and that sparked curious discussions around cloud security. What did this incident have in common? Poor cyber security practices. Yes, and we're talking about billion dollar companies here. If they can get hacked, your business is not immune either. Because when we talk about cyber crime, we're not talking about petty criminals here. We're talking about sophisticated attacks that target every industry, including yours. So as an entrepreneur or your business leader, if you don't know what's going on with your cyber security, you are gambling with your business. And trust me, no insurance policy is going to save you from the reputational and financial hits that you will take. I have seen this happen a lot. Most business leaders make the mistake of thinking cyber security is just an IT problem. Huh. Let me ask you something. When your customer data is stolen or your systems are taken down by ransomware, who is going to be in the spotlight? You. Cyber security is no longer a back office issue. It's a boardroom issue now. And if you're a CEO, a founder or a decision maker you need to understand what's happening in your business from a security standpoint it's very important and it's in fact it's key you don't need to be a tech genius but you need to be informed that's where cyber security certifications come in now before now if your it guys have the certification that's all that mattered but now you need them just as much as the folks manning your systems. They are designed to give you enough knowledge to lead, to make smart decisions, and to protect your business. Now, I'm going to break this down in a way that shows you not just what they are, but why they matter to you, all right? Now, let's start with Certified Information Security Manager, CISM. 
this one is huge for business leaders and no it's not about firewalls or coding it's focused on managing risk okay the cism certification will teach you how to create monitor and even manage an information security program for your own company and this is important because you need to align cyber security with your business goals so with cism you're not just the guy signing off on a budget for it you become the leader who knows how to protect the company's assets strategically you will know how to assess risk and build a security framework that works for your business you want to lead correct you want to be the ceo is in control then take control of the risk your business faces the CISM certification basically puts you in the driver's seat of your company's cybersecurity strategy. Another certification you should be considering as an entrepreneur is the Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP. I must quickly point out that CISSP is often called the gold standard in cybersecurity certifications. It's quite popular among experts, but here's the thing. This certification isn't just for IT professionals. CISSP covers eight domains, eight, eight domains of cybersecurity, from risk management to compliance. And trust me, as a business leader, you want to know all of this. Your next question should be why? I know you might want to know, right? It's because this certification gives you a strategic overview. You will understand how different parts of your business are connected and what happens when one part is compromised. Don't get me wrong, you're not learning how to fix systems. You're learning how to protect your entire organization from the top down. Imagine you're negotiating with a cloud security provider. With CISSP, you will know exactly what to ask. Where are their data protection policies? How do they handle incident response? You would have the confidence to make informed decisions. Okay, now let's look at the third certification that you should know about, and that is the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control, popularly called C-Risk. If you're an entrepreneur, you already know that risk is part of the game, but do you know how to identify and manage cybersecurity risk? C-Risk is all about risk management, specifically how to assess, monitor, and mitigate the risks that come from your information systems. So let me break it down. This certification will teach you to speak the language of risk. You know, whether you're pitching to investors or you're speaking with your board, they want to know that you're not just aware of financial risk, but also the risk to your company's data and operations. How about certified ethical hacker? CEH is where things get interesting. This certification teaches you to think like a hacker, literally. By the way, it's really a great skill if you can think like a hacker. Don't just do it illegally, okay? But why is that important for you as a business leader? The fact is, once you understand how hackers think, you can start identifying vulnerabilities in your own business even before they become problems. CEH is all about proactive defense. You're not, you're not waiting for something to happen. The game plan is you're already two steps ahead. That's the game plan. Just think about that for a moment. How much more valuable would you be to your company, your investors, and your customers if you could outsmart the hackers? Now, I will tell you this for free. Being reactive in business will get your business killed. Yes, the best leaders are the ones who see the threat coming before they hit. You have to be paranoid. CEH gives you that edge. The last certification I'll be telling you about is the Cyber Security Fundamental Certificate by ISACA. Look, if you're not ready to dive into CISSP or CISM just yet, this is where you start. The Cyber Security Fundamental Certificate. This gives you a strong foundation in the basics, how cyber attacks happen, how to prevent them, and what basic security controls you should have in place. This is your launch pad if you're new to cybersecurity. It's short, actionable, and it gives you enough knowledge to start protecting your business immediately. But if at this point, you are still telling yourselves it's probably not worth it, how about we do a little calculation on the cost of ignorance? Let's talk numbers, like real numbers. In 2023, the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack 
cost the company $4.4 million in ransom payment alone. Not to mention the billions in losses from disrupted operations. All because of a single vulnerability that they missed. Now let me ask you, what's more expensive? Investing a little bit of your time and money in learning the basics of cybersecurity or paying millions later because you ignore the warning signs or couldn't spot it. Don't be that person. Don't be. You've worked too hard to build your business. And in this age, cybersecurity is part of leadership. So, how do you start protecting your business? That's the question. How? How do you get these certifications without spending hours lost in technical jargon? Step number one is to choose your certification path. Are you looking for a strategic overview? Start with CISSP. Want to focus on risk management? Go for C-Risk. Start by identifying what aspect of cybersecurity is most critical for your business and then go from there. Then step number two, start with the basics. If you're completely new to all of this, get the Cybersecurity Fundamental Certificate from ISACA. Okay, this will give you the foundation to build upon. And step number three, use what you learn immediately. Listen, apply the knowledge you gain as soon as you learn it. Okay, start with simple things like reviewing your data protection policies, improving your password management, and even assessing your risk. Okay, these are basic steps that you can even implement in a day, maximum a week. Don't wait for the certification to make a difference. Okay. Now to step number four, invest in continuous learning. You've probably heard me or someone else say it before. Cybersecurity is constantly evolving. Don't think of these certifications as a one and done type of deal. You need to invest in continuous learning almost on a daily basis. You'll find something new happening with cyber threat. So as the threat evolves, your knowledge needs to evolve as well. The more you understand, the better decisions you make as a leader. You don't want to be the last to know what is going on and you have to stay ahead of the game. And finally, in step number five, build a culture of cyber security in your business. When you learn anything, don't keep the knowledge to yourself. Start building a cyber security culture in your company. You want to train your employees on the basics because the more they know, the better they become. You also want to make cyber security part of every business decision, not just an IT afterthought. Okay, as a leader, it's your job to make sure that everyone in your organization understands the importance of protecting your company's data and assets. It's your job, it's nobody's job, it's yours. Okay, now this is one thing I want you to remember cyber security is a competitive advantage. Think about it if you're an entrepreneur going up against another company for the same customers, the same client, or contract. Believe me, the business that can confidently say we have top tier cyber security measures in place, investors want to know that their money is safe, customer wants to know that their data is protected, and employees want to know that the company they work for is future proof. Being a business leader who is cyber security certified gives you the confidence and the edge to say, I've got this covered, and actually be telling the truth. Now, for any business, Cyber security isn't a nice to have anymore. It's a must have. The deal isn't just to prevent attacks. You must be able to build trust, ensure business continuity, and stay ahead of the competition. The reality is simple. We live in a digital age, and every business, be it in tech, finance, healthcare, or even retail, is vulnerable to cyber threats. The difference between business that survive and business that fail is preparation. And cyber security certifications are your ticket to becoming not just a business leader, but a strategic protector of everything that you've built. Don't wait for a cyber attack to hit you before you take this seriously. And that is it guys. Thanks for watching. If you learned something from this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and drop a comment below. What cyber security questions do you have? What certifications are you thinking about? Let me know and I will get back to you with answers. Until next time, stay protected, stay proactive and lead like a champion that you are. Bye for now.